Hey guys, what's up? My name is Char and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is all about getting to know our skin and what we need to do to take care of it. But I can't really talk about something that I know nothing about. So I invited an expert here to educate us both. So, hi there, Swami. Hi. Hi, Carmen. Thank you for inviting me on your uh, video today. I'm really happy to share with you um, everything about skin uh, and um, yeah. <laughs> yeah, can you please uh, tell us what you do? Uh, yeah, so my little company is called Zest and I'm doing natural skincare products that I make myself and I also teach people uh, how to make them through workshops. Yeah, um, I think a few days ago I joined Swanee's workshop and before joining she asked me what type of skin do I have and honestly I didn't know what to answer. So Swanee, can you please tell us the different types of skin there is and how can we identify what skin type do we have? Sure, so we have uh, four uh, skin types uh, which are dry, oily, normal and combination. And added to that, we have also skin conditions which are sensitive and dehydrated. Um, so to identify your skin type, you have two test tests that you can do. Uh, one is called the bare face test. So basically you wash your face with a very gentle cleanser and then you don't apply anything on it and you just uh, dry it with a towel. After an hour, how does your uh, skin feel? Is it a bit itchy and tight? Is it maybe shiny and still breezy all over? Or maybe you just have a shine on your T-zone, which is your forehead to your nose and chin. Uh, or maybe just uh, very good and even and you just feel nice. Or maybe you just have a bit of inflammation or a bit of irritation. Those are gonna give you some uh, clues on what is your uh, skin type. Uh, another one that you can do is to gently pat some bloating uh, paper on your face to identify where you have oil. So if the paper is dry, then you most likely have a dry skin type. If it's oily, very, very oily, then you most likely have an oily face <laughs> uh, skin type. And if it's only oily when you put it here, but like dry here, then most likely you have a combination uh, skin. And if it's about even everywhere, nothing too uh, extreme on the oil, then you most likely have a, a normal uh, type of skin. So these are the, the four uh, types um, and how to identify them very quickly. So like for my skin, I think uh, you asked me like my T-zone, right? Yeah, so you asked me, do I have like white heads or black heads around that area? And what do they feel during the winter and the summer time? So right now, because I don't know if it's because I can't go out that often, but it's just like I'm having breakouts all over. Ew, like my T-zone and my chin area, they have a lot of breakouts. So does my skin type change because I can't go out or I'm imagining this? <laughs> <laughs> no, so your, uh, your skin type will not change um, as drastically, drastically as uh, from today from tomorrow. Um, but uh, it might um, change depending on the weather. So this will be if it's uh, dehydrated or uh, irritated, or maybe you also can have some hormonal imbalance that will provoke more pimple. Uh, whatever you eat also will uh, reflect on your skin. So if you have been eating uh, particularly greasy fast food and etc. Uh, for a few days, then it will reflect by uh, pimples. So there's a few uh, things that you can uh, try to identify when your skin is uh, really changing uh, very fast. So that might also be maybe you're just before your period or during your periods. Usually we have uh, we have pimples around the chin and around the cheeks, yeah. almost a uh, girl. Um, so your skin type will most likely be the same all over your, your life. Uh, and it might change after you have maybe a baby or when you have your menopause uh, because your hormonal balance uh, will change. But most likely it's not gonna change uh, yeah, from day to day just your, your um, way of living will have an impact. So if you, tr if you identify what is causing those problems, then you can go back to a normal uh, skincare routine or having a normal type of, of skin, yeah. Okay, so it's really interesting what you said, like when I eat greasy food, then my skin becomes oily, right? 
So if I have dry skin, should I eat more greasy food to balance it out? I have not, no, I don't know anything at all, I swear. Because you said my skin is a combination, so what should I eat? How, to, how do I balance that out? <laughs> okay, so um, if you have a combination skin, for example, so that means that either on your cheek, you're uh, either dry or uh, normal skin. If, uh, for example, in winter, you feel like your whole face is getting very dry, so that means that your skin is actually dehydrated. So the difference is that dry, you like uh, sebum, so that means you, you like moisture, you like oils. Dehydrated is because you like hydration, so you like water. So if your skin is dehydrated, then you should eat more like vegetable, drink a lot of water, obviously, and try to avoid uh, alcohol and coffee because this is dehydrating for your skin I mean, and also from the inside. So yeah, if you like uh, water, just yeah, eat and drink um, water <laughs> uh, as much as you can, vegetable, fruits. Uh, if your uh, body, your skin is dry, then you will need to uh, bring the oil via your skincare. So moisturizing uh, uh, heavily during the night, lightly during the day. Um, so this is uh, different um, on the oil production. Yeah. Okay, so that was it. Um, okay, guys, so I hope that you learn what type of skin do you have right now. Um, comment down below to tell me what type of skin you have and comment down the questions that you have for Swami because she's going to be appearing on our next video and our next video is still about skin type or skincare routines or getting to know your skin. So all about the skin, we're going to do that um, topic with Swani. So comment down below your questions for Swani because she is an expert on skin because she has been doing this for a long time now. She has a company here in Beijing and she's legit. Her products are really, really awesome. I've been trying them for a while now and they're really good. So like I said, I'm a convert. I'm a convert from chemicals. I'm now a natural girl. <laughs> <laughs> so don't forget to hit the subscribe button and click the bell button. <laughs> Where's the reverse? Don't forget to click on the subscribe button and hit that bell button. And also don't forget to like this video. Okay. Again, my name is Shar and I make what do you make? I make ESL lifestyle expert guide videos. If you're into that content, don't forget to subscribe. If not, subscribe anyway, because you like me. <laughs> I'm kind of crazy. Okay, so again, comment down below your question for Swani and She's gonna try to, I'm gonna try to ask her the questions that you have for our next video. Comment down below.